most kidney cancers fit into a neat bucket in terms of what type they have, and most of those are clear cell renal cell carcinoma. Brandon has one that doesn't fit into one of those neat buckets, and that presents a challenge in terms of how we treat him. After his original surgery, when they removed his right kidney, he had a recurrence of his cancer in his lymph nodes. The first area that looks sort of abnormal is starting right about here. So see that cluster of gray stuff there? The concept is if you can move the ones that we know are abnormal, as well as as many more in the vicinity, hopefully we get beyond the higher extent of the disease and there won't be anything left behind. You know, Brandon's super healthy, he's very young, so I hope and expect things will go really smoothly. I'm very lucky to practice at Mayo Clinic because this is where frozen section pathology was invented. The tissue is frozen and sliced extremely thin stained immediately and placed on a slide. That whole process takes minutes, not days. So the advantage of frozen section is we can know what we're finding as we go. In Brandon's case, as we started to find out that indeed there were more positive than we expected, I adjusted the plan for the surgery to remove a much greater extent of lip nodes in terms of I went much higher than I had originally intended to do based on just the scans. I went lower than I intended to do based on the scans. I wanted to be as aggressive as I could to make sure that we did everything possible to remove every last bit of cancer. The ability to do a surgery like this, the number of therapies that we have, our understanding of the disease, all of these things are getting better month by month, year by year, at an incredibly rapid pace now. So there's no reason not to be optimistic. There's no reason not to be hopeful. Even if we can only get you to the next treatment, that may be the one that is gonna take care of this forever.